if you're an athlete and you're taking super high dose antioxidant support, then you need to listen up. Now for most people, we could benefit from tons and tons of antioxidant support. Most people in the US are not getting enough antioxidants. But for athletes, that's not actually the case. We wanna be especially careful taking antioxidants around training if our goal is to adapt and grow. Now part of the adaptation process is that we put stress on our body, that stress breaks down and damages tissue, our body then creates this signaling cascade, this immune, this inflammation response that helps to heal and repair, and we end up repairing and growing back stronger. If we're taking a bunch of high dose antioxidant response or antioxidant supplements, especially right at the time that we're supposed to be creating an inflammatory and adaptive response, it actually blunts that response and we're gonna slow down the adaptation phase. Now antioxidants can be useful after long training events like a marathon or something like that to help speed up the recovery process, but we do not want to be using them around uh, the training periods that we're trying to adapt and grow. So if you're taking super high dose antioxidants, it's probably best to knock it off, especially if you're an athlete, because we don't want to shut down that growth process.